Hey guys, I thought I'd make a video about Fortress Craft because uh, the game came out yesterday and uh, it's actually um, going to be a video, sort of a review, but not quite. Um, and the reason I think you guys should listen to me is basically because I have no agenda, I'm not getting paid to say this or that, I have no allegiance to anything, so um, yeah, all my opinions are just what I think and uh, you shouldn't take them as facts. So basically this game, uh, Fortress, Cr Fortress Craft, uh, it was sort of inspired by Minecraft, that's what it even says on their official website, but uh, there's no code used from Minecraft, it's not, you know, a complete copy of Minecraft, although obviously there's simi a lot of similarities, um, a lot, a lot of similarities, pretty much the game is Minecraft with better graphics, it's on Xbox, and uh, the controls are um, kind of weird, I cut and paste a uh, different sort of uh, videos just to give you a glimpse of what the game actually is, I built a house, um, which you me building because it is tedious. Uh, I was playing this with a friend and we couldn't get multiplayer to work properly. As you saw there, I generated well properly. I tried inviting him, didn't work. So uh, maybe it's just me doing it wrong. I'll find out how to uh, actually get it working later on. And uh, I think I'm going to make more videos of this because it is a good game. Uh, don't get me wrong. I just mm, I'm just not sure how uh, what to do in it so far. Uh, there's different things like um, relics. They're called relics and. Uh, some things make you run faster, like boots, there's uh, Minecraft, no, not Minecraft, <laughs> see, Minecraft, it's got Minecraft on the mind, um, but there's like triggers for TNT and all that good stuff, and uh, I really want to find that, I can't actually at the moment, but it does have some nice features, this for example, time played, um, the map showing you where you've generated the world, and um, the world isn't actually infinite, as you would have saw in the beginning, probably it said, it takes 35 thousand hours or something to generate an entire world I think that's what it said um, you know to uh, get to the ed end of the world or something I can't remember but it's something like that and um, right here I'm just showing you world generation as you can see I got text there just to remind me um, it looks pretty cool the way it kind of generates but uh, I would have thought being on Xbox it could be able to create an entire world without uh, you know rendering it but uh, I guess it's uh, fine really it doesn't really affect the gameplay at all the gameplay is kind of clunky in a way. I'm obviously going to make a longer video, like a te uh, five, ten minute video about it uh, later on, but uh, listen in to this sound. I'm going to I'm gonna cut away the commentary here and you can listen into the game sounds because they do actually sound quite realistic and uh, it does add quite a nice effect to the game, so yeah. Yeah, it's on 90%. Yeah, Well, I'd let you guys listen in to the sound because I do think it adds depth and realism to the game um, but uh, yeah I'm gonna make a video about five ten minutes long uh, probably later on in fact right now after this video after I found my barbecue uh, apologies for you guys who haven't eaten but it's an amazing day here and uh, I'm looking forward to that but um I hope you have a good day guys and uh, do I think you should buy this game yes because it's 240 Microsoft points which is about £1.50 or $3, I believe. I may be way off, but I uh, hope you enjoyed the video, guys. I hope you're having a good weekend, and I'll see you on the next one tomorrow. So see you, guys.